What is this? Flying boat? All boats need to pay toll in Mafia Town. Even in space. Mafia come in to collect. Need a break from massive RPGs and shooters? How about a nice dose of nostalgia? Inspired by games like Super Mario Galaxy, A Hat in Time is a fun and charming platformer that'll surely entertain you for many, many hours. The gameplay is as you'd expect any 3D platform to be. With tight controls and solid jumping, the fun is definitely there. There was never a moment or death that felt cheap. Many of the platforming challenges aren't too difficult, so if you're looking for insane precision difficulty, I'd try out the player-created content. A Hat in Time surprisingly has an assortment of hats. Not only can you get different skins and change your hat's colors, each of the hats gives you a different ability useful to solving puzzles and challenges. It's what really keeps the game fresh and the worlds unique. Another thing to customize your character a bit are the badges. These usually grant small buffs to your playstyle. They don't really feel necessary to the game, but they were still a welcome addition and felt natural. Each world is cheesy in its own right, but inventive and interesting. Each area utilizes different mechanics to make them feel different aside from their obvious aesthetic changes. Wait up, kid. Remember how the old contractor had his head pop up? That wasn't a coincidence. The thing I enjoyed most about A Hat in Time, though, were the boss fights. Aside from the introductory boss, each world's end fight is actually quite challenging. It actually threw me off when I died a couple times. There's solid end of the level fights that really reward you for your platforming skills. Overall, the gameplay isn't anything new, but it is good old fashioned platforming fun with a charming protagonist and interesting hat abilities. The story and narrative is where this game really shines in my opinion. It's light-hearted and goofy, with a splash of dark humor. A Hat in Time never takes its plot or the other worlds too seriously, and there are enough puns in there to make any mad person happy. The fuel tank is full and the ship is flying at full speed. Today's to-do list contains waking up. The characters you meet are all very different and interesting, from bird producers to mustache rivals to demons. This game has it all, and then some. The art style is colorful and cartoony. With a game that's all about making jokes and being lighthearted, there really isn't more that I could ask for. As for the music, it's all really good. The main theme reminds me of Super Mario Galaxy's theme, so the nostalgic nods are there and I found myself humming along to many of the game's melodies. A Hat in Time may be an indie game, but it's just as fun as any other 3D platformers out there, and you can find it for a pretty cheap price as well. And if you're a fan of what you've played, there's even some DLC to extend your time. Overall, A Hat in Time keeps it simple and delivers a nostalgic package that'll surely make any Super Mario fan excited. Explore cheesy worlds, interesting characters and customization, and platforming bosses that'll really put your skills to the test. If you haven't played this adorable gem and want to play a solid platformer, look no further than A Hat in Time. Over the course of the last few months and failing to find a PS5, I've turned to Steam to find new and interesting games, and I've realized there's a lot of great games out there that are not only cheaper than $60, but are better than a lot of AAA trash that these big companies keep pushing out. I'd honestly rather play another 4 runs in Hades than grind for more loot in Marvel's Avengers. A lot of these lesser known games are actually well developed and you can easily tell that the developers are passionate about making their games fun to play. I'm just saying, if you're skeptical about indie titles, put down Call of Duty and give them a chance. You might actually enjoy it. As always, I'm Game Ghost. Happy gaming.